What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Celebrity Junk, man. This is your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson, man. You know I'm back at it again. And today I want to talk a little bit about my man Bow Wow. And it's crazy, right? I remember when he was a little Bow Wow. And y'all remember Snoop Dogg had found him and gave him the name Lil Bow Wow. He was from the Ohio area and he had these little braids and shit. But now he dropped a little and now he's just Bow Wow. And we've all seen him come from like the little child prodigy of a rapper to getting this grown man on. All right. We've seen him up and you know what I'm saying? A lot of different shows growing up hip hop Atlanta. We've seen him in movies. But recently he visited the real and everybody knows the real because you know mrs omnipresent aka lonnie love is there and bow wow talked about a few things talked about being the uh, father um and he was asked about you know if he's ever going to settle down um and get married and he said like yo i'm just not ready to and let me just actually read the quote maybe we'll put it there he goes i don't know if i'm ready yet you know what? I've been thinking about the idea of me walking down an aisle and all that. I'm not saying it's far out of reach, but it's kind of weird seeing myself do that right now, he explained. As far as selling down, I'm just so focused with what's going on in my career. This tour and everything I got going on. So if I date somebody, I got to be able to give her my all, all of my attention. And I'm not going to lie. I'm one of them dudes. I like my space, he continued adding. I like my me time. Now, I can't you know, show the clip because they will flag me, you know, the real, they be tripping and hating on the owner brother. But I want to talk about why a lot of black men like Omarion don't want to settle down. And this is not one of those videos where I'm going to just jump on the sisters like, man, black women be tripping. Black women ain't this, ain't that. No. All right. Y'all know I love, you know, I got a preference for African-American women, I'm African-American. Y'all do, I do like my African sisters, you know what I'm saying? My crib, I, I, I'm, I'm loving the black woman. You guys already know that, you know? I will roast them if I need to, but you know, I'm loving the African sisters, the black sisters, that's my preference. And in the case of Bow Wow, we can all say, Bow Wow is getting the top notch ladies of all races and ethnicities, especially black women. Like, Bow Wow's getting the best looking black women. He got access to chicks that, you know, guys like me and you, we ain't gonna never have that kind of access, right? And he gonna have access to the chicks that are feminine, chicks that are whatever, you know, they, they, they beating down his doorstep. So he gonna have the top notch chicks in the black race. So, I, I mean, we, we probably gonna assume that the problems that, you know, the normal brother would have with women, he is not going to all the time have. But I think the situation that a lot of brothers out there that are finding out a lot of brothers like their personal space. And that's just a thing, man. Like, you know, let me use my dad, for example. My dad was one of those guys that he always has to be in a relationship with a woman. He's not the kind of guy, and some of you guys may have a dad like that or a grandpa. You know, it's kind of like one of those things, like if, you know, if your granddaddy's wife died, your grandma, then like he died like six months later and out of loneliness. He's the kind of guy he needs to be around a woman to function. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of how a lot of the older guys were back in the day. That's how my dad is. He always has to be in a relationship with a woman, and he has never been used to having his alone time. But what has happened with a lot of younger black men that have become successful? We like our personal time. You know, a lot of brothers, when they started traveling, shout out to my travel brothers. Um, that can afford to go overseas. You know, before, it used to be a problem when you was trying to travel with your buddy. You remember you having that broke friend, like we supposed to go to Brazil, we supposed to go to Dominican Republic and all of that. And then the nigga can never go, you know what I'm saying, for whatever reason. So you have to end up going by yourself. And then you're like, mm, you know, it wasn't so bad, man. I can just, you know, do this by myself. I'm liking this. I'm liking the spa treatments I'm giving myself. I'm liking being able to move in. You know, and all of that. But here's the situation, right? You like being able to move without somebody questioning you. And that's the problem, man. Like, when you're in a relationship with a woman, especially you got a good woman, you know, you have an in-house uh, woman, and she might be fine, good looking. What is she going to be asking you? Where you been? Who you talking to? Let me see your phone. Who you texting? Who you liking on Instagram? Who you blah, blah, blah? And blah blah this and 
blah blah that you're like hold on man i'm not even that's my mom that ain't your mom that's somebody you disguise your mom when you call it's actually your mom right you know what i'm saying a lot of chicks be real insecure they all in your space like you know you want to go out and hang out with your friends and have drinks now you're gonna go see some chick you know she always trying to go she always want to be clinged on to you you know what i'm saying and a lot of brothers have been in relationships with some really good women i could tell you like this man i've been in some relationships with some really good black women won't even lie but having the space that was just a problem man you know it was just a problem and a lot of women when you get with them you know and a lot of times like for me a lot of you brothers who got your own spot when you get off of work you get home and if you live by yourself it's a beautiful thing you know you might have dirty clothes on the ground or whatever draws or whatever but they your draws you could just put on the video game start playing the game turn up the xbox hella loud or whatever talk around walk around your house and just enjoy yourself but the problem is is when you get in a relationship where you move the chick in then there she is you know what is she on that it's that time of the month she started tripping oh my god i'm so sick can you hug me why don't you talk to me why don't you love me why don't you spend any time with me <laughs> and it's like damn i've been working all day i'm just trying to chill like man you know can you want you come you know hug me tonight why don't you why don't you you haven't made love to me in a week you know you gotta go through all of that foolishness man and it's like damn you get in a relationship and you have to deal with that for a few years and you get used to that life and you know what i'm saying slowly but surely you go into exhibitions like that you don't even like. You go into cotton candy festivals and stuff. You go into Tyler Perry movies, nigga. You go into church. And all of a sudden, you know, as long as you stay with a woman, you her you, your life becomes her life. You start to lose a part of yourself. And remember when he talked about, I want to focus on what I'm doing in my career? Let's be honest, man. When you're really about your career, I made a video about that. A lot of times women don't understand that. You know, especially, um, I'm not saying in the black community because you do have professional sisters that do get it, but a lot of times, man, they're going to have a problem when they're not, they're not really, um, getting the best of your, you know, of your time. And a lot of, a lot of women want to be first. They'll tell you like, Oh, I know your career comes first, baby. I know that, you know, you're doing well. I mean, I'm not trying to interfere with your career. And then all of a sudden they start trying to interfere with your damn career. And you like, man, I thought this wasn't gonna be your problem but then it is a problem you feel me and a lot of times a lot of brothers you know now it's not like we don't have a problem with being in some sort of relationship because some brothers don't want to get married but you know they want to have a you know i have a girlfriend but you can't live with me you know what i'm saying like you can spend the night sometimes or i might spend the night with you sometimes but i need you to go home you know what I'm saying? No, I don't want you keeping your makeup here. It's not that, you know, I'm cheating on you, but I just don't want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me a reason why I should be excited to see you. If you here every day, then I can't get excited to see you. Cause sometimes I ain't gonna lie, man. I used to see my girl sometime. I'm like, man, she gonna be at my house when I get there. I was hella mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to come home and see you every day. Get out. Go do something. Go find some friends. And I understand what a brother Bow Wow is talking about that. And a lot of times, you know, brothers are just realizing right now that, you know, they just want their free time. Because, you know, let me tell you like this, man. And I'm not going to be too long with the Black man, we always giving our time to everybody. You know, we always sacrificing our time to the family, to the women or whatever. And we don't really get a chance to do a lot of things for ourselves. And I want to just say this to you Black men out there, man do something for yourself brothers you know go take a trip go get yourself a nice spa you know your boy i'm out here in uganda right now man i went and got me a nice spa man i spent about 40 dollars. now that's a lot of money out here but man i got me like aromatherapy nigga i was out there i was just getting it in bro and i felt good I, it was like some time i spoiled it myself you feel me and now I know that I need to give myself nice things, do nice things for myself. 
you know, and a person like Bow Wow, he understands that, you know, he needs to do nice things for himself, treat himself, you know what I'm saying? Women do it all the time, man. Black women do it, especially, you know, white women, they always doing nice things for themselves. You know, they'll get their hair did, their nails done, they enjoy their me time, they enjoy time with their friends, they go shopping, they go on cruises, they understand how to reward themselves. But black men, we don't really understand how that works. So I just really want to say that, brothers, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that you do that. You feel me? And um, you know, when you get tired time and you know you want to be in a relationship with the right woman. Then that to happen, but up until then, you know, enjoy yourself. Not understand where the brother's coming from. But anyways, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson with another episode of the Celebrity Drunk. Also, don't forget, and when I say this, don't forget to pick up one of your black men or perfect t-shirts. You know how we rocking over here. And like I always say, man, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out. Peace.